Now, when we're looking at the center line, okay, uh, let's look at the first part. First of all, we want to look at the center of our balance. So when we get into the Yi Jing King Yang Ma position, it's very important to understand why we do it and, and, and what it's going to progress you to develop internally. Now the important part is, and I'll break everything down now for you, is that um, you must learn to relax as much as possible, okay? And I'm talking about trying to develop a mental concentration where everything is relaxed. And so you've got to be very aware of your articulations, especially the wrists, the fingers, elbows, shoulders, your spinal column, your cervical uh, part of the spine, your lumbar region, your legs, knees, ankles, feet, the whole lot. You've got to really increase the awareness of everything in your body because maintaining this Sunim Tao state or Sunim Tao state, it means simplicity. It's a very simple form, it's the beginnings form and you want to try and maintain this state of thinking even when you get to your advanced levels, okay? You don't want to start off with a simple form and then everything has to get complicated later because you didn't put the efforts to understand the basics, okay? So far so good on making sense. So really relax and the best thing to do as well is to also relax your breathing because in a way we're going to be like meditating. So it's breathing, one way of doing it is in through the nose, breathing down, visualizing and going through down below your belly button, about three or four fingers below your belly button. Imagine that your breathing is going down and then you're creating a circuit out of your mouth. So in your nose, down and out. And it's got to be like, you've got to relax your stomach. So sometimes you see some Wing Chun people develop a bit of a pot belly, but that doesn't mean that they're fat or chubby. It's just what happens when you develop this type of uh, diaphragmatic breathing.